वेलकम एवरी वन सो दिस इज निवेद फ्रॉम जोहो वन थीम क्राफ्टिंग द रोड मैप ओके सो वेन आई स्टार्टेड विद जोहो ओके इट वॉज रियली टफ टू अंडरस्टैंड एप्लीकेशन सो इट वॉज वेरी टीरियस ईच एंड एवरी एप्लीकेशन स्टूड फॉर इट सेल्फ सो आई नो वेर आर द पेन पॉइंट्स सो लेट्स अनकवर फ्यू थिंग्स यर टूडे सो वी विल अंडरस्टैंड द इम्पॉर्टेंस ऑफ एन एप्लीकेशन फॉलोड बाई हाउ कैन यू मैप दोज फीचर्स to your goals or objectives you have in your business so that's something i'm going to uh, take you over today so in today's this agenda firstly we will be talking about how to define your vision and goals in this phase it's necessary uh, relevant data relevant and accurate data plays a major role in this phase so when you start about crafting or when you talk about crafting a road map so the first thing you need to understand is to know what kind of data would you like to have inside your software and what are your goals what are you planning to do with your software having said that knowing having all these data in hand so it is necessary you need to analyze them so your strengths weaknesses the opportunity and threats for your entire business needs to be like uh known or needs to be like discovered and in order to do that you need to have to communicate to all levels of your business across all the teams and also it is necessary to understand or uncover your underlying issues across each and every sectors of your business and thirdly so now you know where you stand so as you know where you stand it is it is right time for you to move ahead to plan things and then execute the implementation parallelly post which any successful implementation is determined by how your team adopts the process the new process and that's where exactly an implementation is said to be a success so in order to achieve it you need kpis key performance indicators so we will give you a walk through of how can you define all these things in this session so the main goal of like for me in this session is to convey these things what are the best or how can you optimize the usage of zoho apps secondly how are you going to map your goals with the features in zoho and which application should i choose is it a feature should i go with or is it a different application i have to approach so i will give you a categorized view of everything in zoho one followed by the kpi metrics which is necessary for an implementation to be a successful one so with no further ado let me directly go into implementing zoho one before even kick starting about what you need let's try to understand what zoho one is so before understanding zoho one as i said initially you need to have a to do list take a paper pen and paper write all the tasks you would like to do via the software and have the goals defined uh, with a timely manner so these two things is something which you need to do before even understanding the software secondly now you have the uh, the needs for or the requirements for your business now it's time for you to map it with zoho so this is quite a small example of how businesses adopt zoho one let's take a scenario uh, there is a small business who's trying to do a lot of thing at the same time so if they need a crm or a customer relationship management tool i would say let's start with zoho begin so begin is a small intuitive crm system this system is uh, will help you out to manage customer data so this is more about a pipeline centric software and this helps you out to manage your entire customer centric data to be managed from a single place so whenever the small businesses start to grow they need a system to manage their invoices and if in case if you have an option to tailor make it that's where exactly people go for so at that time you could use zoho invoice which is an application which is tightly integrated with zoho begin which means whenever you have a customer data in zoho begin and if you would like to invoice a customer okay you have to just integrate zoho invoice with that you can have your own customized pdfs send out an estimate send out an invoice uh, to your customers 
understand. So for small businesses, they need to have they need to build their own customer base. So having or moving from one-time buyers to making loyal customers plays a vital role. So Zoho Marketing Automation is a lead nurturing tool with which it will be easy for you to uh, gain trust of customers. So more than having or interacting with the customer, you're creating an impact to the customer. And that could be easily done using Zoho Marketing Automation. So having said this, this is for small business. So once the business grows, they need, they come up with a lot of requirements. And that's when they switch on to the next set of application, which is Zoho CRM. Much more, a bigger kind of a CRM where you could tailor it as per your requirement. You could modify it. You could rename the modules. You can have your own fields. You can create multiple tasks, reminders, automations from a single place. And from an invoicing system, you need a two-way entry system, which is Zoho Books. And from Lina sharing, you need to uh, be intact with subscribers. And that's when you go for Zoho campaigns. And having said that, I have introduced a lot of application. So, we do have tight integration. Like you have started with Zoho Behin. If you would like to move to Zoho CRM, we do have an integration. At some point of time, if you would like to push the data from Begin to CRM, we do have default integrations. Same go goes for invoice to Zoho Books. If you have your system, which has been there for almost a year, you're, you're being invoicing your customer with Zoho Invoice, and now you need more. At that time, if you would like to switch to another software, which has much more functionalities than Zoho Invoice, that is going to be Zoho Books. This transformation is easily possible via the default integrations. The same goes for marketing automation and campaigns. These are just application. But then again, we do have a lot more similarities for features and apps. So we do have a form inside CRM and we do have Zoho form separately. So when do I choose it? So this is one of the important questions customers comes, comes up whenever uh, they would like to do some change. So similarly, there are different reports in each and every application. So invoice have their own reports. CRM yet have another own report. If you would like to have cross mapping of all these reports, that's when you move on to the next system. So as I said, if in case if you would like to collect information of your existing records, leads, or your opportunities, you could use your uh, the web forms inside CRM. Wherein, if you're going to have a form which is going to be embedded on your website, uh, which is uh, which is going to be beautified and which needs more data, more field rather than the one which you have in CRM, you could use zoho forms so depending upon your usage choose the app so that's something which i'm trying to say and the next is analytics although we have reports across each and every application zoho analytics give you dashboards so by default when you integrate your crm with analytics okay the data is inside your crm will be pushed to analytics it over which you could have your own x-axis own y-axis so you are like developing from default reports to a new report, customized report, uh, whichever you need. So that is how exactly the app grows. So Zoho One have a lot more flavors. So the list which I have gave you is very minimal, but then again, we do have a lot more flavors to Zoho One. So uh, now we understand what Zoho One is or how to transform from one app to the other or when to choose an application. Let's define a process. So as I said earlier, we need to have a to-do list. So take stock of your existing data. So what do I mean by this? What is your business objective? And what are you trying to improve? So if you have CRM in place and you have finance in place, but if you're looking for something uh, where your lead management needs to be taken care, you need to identify which part of your business you would like to improve, followed by the current process you have. Is it good? Or is there something needed to be modified in the current process? So these are the things which needs to be like uh, reviewed now and then so that it's easy for you to like make modification to the existing system. 
And thirdly, are all the team members, the entire organization employee are in line with your features or processes. So that's something which needs to be checked every now and then. So having taken stock of all these things, this is how exactly it looks. So people from finance give you inputs. People from your customer relationship management give you some inputs. And yet another department, your HR recruit, they give you a lot of inputs. So once you have gathered all these data, and the list is huge, it's time for you to categorize them. What are the customer-related data? What are the data repositories you have? And what kind of information will go into data repositories? What are the financial issues? So you need to categorize them depending upon the flavor it falls in. So once you have defined it, so you know these are the issues the customer is facing, these are the internal issues, these are the issues your finance team needs to rectify. After categorize all these things, you need to start setting up objectives. So you need to have a sales roadmap in case if you're looking to concentrate on growth of your business, a product roadmap on how to approach a product and a business roadmap. So this is, very important roadmap I'm going to list because this is where exactly collaboration happens. One team need to be transparent with the process of the other team so that end of the day, the customer is happy. So only when two teams talk with each other, because of the transparency, the data flows and it's ease to use. And whenever there is a change management, you need a technology roadmap followed by marketing roadmap, which is for brand awareness. Having all these set, Okay, every team have to focus on a specific project or they are going to derive a specific solution. So everyone will have to work on a, uh, maybe a unique goal. Once they have set a goal, they have to start processing it. So before taking it further, let me make it much more simpler with an example. So let's take, there are two cafes, cafe A and cafe B. Both of them are thriving to provide smooth and enjoyable experience for the customers steps into their cafe. So, and both the cafes have something called cafe loyalty program. So, so they have more returning customers. So let's see how cafe A handles it. So cafe A gathers all the leads, okay? They promote the loyalty signups, promote all the customers to sign up for a loyalty program, and after which they send out promotional campaigns. Post which, how are the feedbacks being collected or addressed by the employees? So employee A records the feedback. Okay, let it be. A, let's consider it as a bad feedback. They forget to follow up. Employee B suggests a lot of ideas, gives solution for the customers, but then again, he's not ready to enforce it or let to be known by other colleagues. Employee C directly asks or gives the solution, but he doesn't document it. So by the way, although we are addressing certain uh, customer queries or we are trying to achieve customer satisfaction, it is not on a streamlined pattern. The entire organization is in silos. Each employee have their own pattern to approach a particular issue. So let's take Cafe B. So here, if you see, they have categorized the leads depending upon origin. So if you have different branches, okay, if in case of a feedback or if a lead is being generated or a customer has signed up for a loyalty program from branch A and branch B, they are trying to categorize each and every lo loyalty program depending upon the customer's region. And the interest of the customer gives the personalized touch when the customer comes in back, order something. So they are recording every single detail of what the customer interests are. And once they sign up for a loyalty program, they are sending out promotional campaign. If in case, if the campaign was being not opened, they're trying to follow up with child campaigns. So this is a detailed process of Cafe B, how Cafe B handles it. So whenever a feedback is given, they have four steps. So they categorize the feedback, bad, good, or worst.
And depending upon the type of the feedback, they are trying to do an immediate action. If in case if it is good, they do uh, give something as a giveaway. If in case if it is worst or bad, they try to correct it the next time. And whenever we follow up with a customer, okay, that's when uh, customers, uh, the bond between a company and a customer begins. So they become loyalties. Rather than you branding your product, the customer brands the product for you. So that happens only when you follow up. If in case, if it is a valid feedback, we could add them to a long-term strategy. All these things can be easily configured inside CRM a step-by-step -step process. If you have a workflow in place, okay, you can list your needs like this. If in case, if you have listed them out, it is really easy uh, to configure all these things, the step-by-step -step things via a workflow inside CRM, or let it be a blueprint. So the first thing you need to know is gather data, and you need to know what kind of data you would like to process. And depending upon the process, what are the next successive steps which needs to be taken care? If you have all these things in hand, it's easy to go ahead and configure it. So let's conclude. Cafe He have a disorganized approach. Although their motto is to provide satisfied, uh, I mean, satisfying a customer, but then again, they follow a disorganized approach wherein Cafe B have defined steps. They know, they know where to improve, what part of the business is weak, and what other things can be added to make it much more interesting. So by the way, you're gathering a lot of data. So Cafe A now needs an improvement plan. So when I say improvement plan, it needs to be on the basics and not on the technical side. So once you derive these data, you have to like come up with a flowchart which will help you out to derive a process. Once you derive a process, you could easily map things with the software. So you need a process in hand, so you need to gather data. Secondly, you need to plan which particular phase, or you need to take it in a phase by phasely manner. Phase one, you're going to have the process defined. Phase two, you're going to have the feedback process defined. Phase three, how am I going to roll this out to the to our internal employees? So you need to have phase by phase manners, which needs to be configured and which needs to be like implemented on a phasely manner. And all the employees, as I said earlier. Implementation is successful only when your employee, your team members buy in, or when they only when they stick with the process, that's when an implementation is considered to be a success. So in order to make that happen, you can create smart goals via KPIs. So you need to have the KPIs in order to achieve that. So just giving you a recap. So if you have all these things in hand, software can define or can help you out and define an improved process for your business. Secondly, your requirements needs to be much more clearer so that your implementation process is much more simpler. And details are crucial. Like details, every step, every single step needs to be documented inside your software. So there must be a step one, step two, step three for each and every process in your, uh, let it be a workflow or a blueprint. So now we understood how the map, the roadmap needs to be. Let's quite jump into how Zoho's ecosystem is defined. So right now uh, I have given you a few highlights of how Zoho works, but then again, this might not be the best match for your business requirement. If you need any assistance, we do have Zoho Concierge. So when you Google Zoho Concierge, you will get a form there. Just fill in the form and they will schedule a call for you. What exactly they do is they sit with you, they understand what you need, and they try to help you with the software. Let it be CRM or Begin. So which application you have to go with. Similarly, depending upon your requirement, if it's going to be an invoice or Zoho Books, which is going to be a best match. So this thing will be easily, uh, this particular meeting will help you out to come up with which application is the best fit for your business. That's something this meeting could do. If in case, if you want someone else to do for you, that's where our partners comes into the picture. And 
if in case, if you would like to do it by yourself, we do have knowledge base for all application. Any Zoho application you say, we do have knowledge base. You have to just go to Zoho CRM knowledge base, Zoho Sprint knowledge base, just Google it. You will get a lot of help guides. And so I'm from support team. So basically, if you are a Zoho One customer, please do drop an email to support at zoho1.com. Any questions, we will be there to address. And each of every point product application have their own support team. So if in case if you have a query with CRM, drop an email to support at zohocrm.com. The domain alone differs, but then again, it's going to be support at yourapplication.com. So just drop an email. We will help you with that. So let's get back to the topic. So hops and spokes. So as you know, Zoho has 45 to 50 plus application. So I'm going to divide these application into five major divisions. So firstly, customer data. So when we say customer data, where all do we see customer data? If in case if your business have social media presence, there is one other chance where your customer details can be gathered. Or if you have a form on your website, this is yet another opportunity where you could gather information of your customers and sales IQ. Sales IQ is nothing but like a chat bot. So if you have a site, okay, rather than leaving a site like that, if in case if a customer jumps onto your site and if they would like to know something, rather than having a form filled or rather than having uh, a call to be made in order to reach you, if you have a bot in place, this bot will help the customer understand what exactly the site do or what exactly a product do. So if you have a strong knowledge base for your product or for your business, and if you have a chat bot in place, it will help the customers to answer the first level of questions. To be very clear, the first level of questions which give them information. Post which you could redirect the bot to an agent to a team member inside your organization, and that's Sales IQ. Zoho Campaigns, as said earlier, it's an email marketing tool. You could do SMS marketing, email marketing, where again, customer data is being utilized, followed by Zoho Desk. If a customer comes up with questions, you could use Zoho Desk as an email ticketing system, and followed by projects and so on. So all these applications is tightly integrated with CRM. So Zoho CRM will be acting like a hub, wherein the application surrounded will be acting like spokes. What I'm trying to say here is like an integration is needed between all the application. So if in case if you would like to understand the first touch point of a customer, from where exactly the customer uh, like reached out to me, was it from CRM or was it from social media? So in order to analyze this, if in case if you have all these integration in place, CRM gives you an answer. So the integration will be a key factor to have centralized customer data. So all the touch points are spokes and CRM is going to be acting like a hub. So this is how exactly the customer data structure works. So let's move on to the next, the financial data. So Zoho Books is an accounting software. It is tax compliant. So it stays in the center. If in case if you are, if you have a warehouse and if you would like to uh, manage your items inside your warehouse, you could use Zoho Inventory. So Zoho Expense is one of my favorite because we travel from one place to the other. We get a lot of bills in hand, okay? It's not necessary for me to type in all the bills. If I have the Expense mobile application in hand, I have to just go ahead, take a photo of the particular bill. The Expense application automatically creates a record with the merchant's name with the cost, with the date and timing of which the particular transaction was made. So for me, expense is the best. So whenever I just go ahead, I have an expense or I have an entry inside expense, it is tightly integrated with Zoho Books. So by the way, data is pushed from expense to Zoho Books. And if in case, if your business have a subscription not module like Netflix, and if you would like to send out reminders for customers to pay their subscription, you could use Zoho subscription. So yet and again, so Zoho Books is our hub, wherein the other applications will be like spokes. But depending upon different business needs, this hubs and spokes 
can be slightly changed. If in case, if you are a manufacturer, if you work more with warehouses, at that time, inventory act like hub, wherein books like, act like spokes. So depending upon your needs, this changes. But then again, 50 to 60% of the case, this works. And for data repository, as I already said, Zoho Analytics, an intuitive dashboard. And for to gather all your documents, we do have Zoho WorkDrive. So here, when we talk about analytics, it, it is not just about Zoho application data. You could even add third-party apps. You could even have your system-related data into Zoho Analytics. And an intuitive dashboard with reminders can be easily triggered with analytics. And having said that, Zoho WorkDrive is compilation of your presentations, photos, documents, videos. If you would like to add everything here and link it to your CRM, you could easily do it via integration. And we do have employee data and custom apps. Employee data, as the name says, it's going to be for your check-ins, your leave maintenance. And if in case if you would like to have an onboarding process for your employee, you could use Zoho People. Having all, the, having all these applications said, if you would like to have a unique app, an application specifically tailored for you, and if you would like to define it by your own, then I would like you to go for Zoho Creator. So Zoho Creator, if in case if you are a coder, you could do magics with it. Basically, I'm not a coder, but then again, I still use it for dragging and dropping. Just few forms that could be of help. And Creator is yet another important application, which is tightly integrated with maximum set of Zoho apps. So it makes a lot of data push from there to other application very easily. And this is how exactly the cafe looks, if in case if they have been using Zoho. The cash register is managed by Zoho Books. Barrister station with CRM. Employee management with Zoho People. And click for team collaboration. And analytics for business inside. And all together, which is a part of Zoho One. So this is just a very simple example. But then again, when we come handle every use cases, that's be that becomes complex. I completely understand. But this is how exactly a simple system looks. So creating an effective roadmap. So you have written down everything. Now you have the project. Now it's necessary for you to divide them into tasks, broken into achievable pieces, task with timeline. Once you have defined that, you need to club everything one together. So there need to be a connectivity of one task to the other, dependency of one task to the other. And this particular combination of tasks uh, needs to be in a way where the data flows from one task to the other or relevant on one task to the other. Every task need to have a clear timeline. So this timeline is going to be like a drill or it's going to be like a thing which is going to run the show. Only when we have timelines, we try to like be on time. So after saying that, we need to gather requirements across all the staffs and the leaders. And also we need to get the work done by the employees inside your organization. And also estimating a time for the entire project or implementation, along with understanding the difficulty of the implementation. So having said that, I'm dividing it into three critical steps. So the first thing, identifying key problems. Second is going to be mapping and setting up the application. Thirdly, I'm going to tra train and sell it internally to my employees. And that's the three steps, three key steps. So to identify key problems, you could have categorize all the problems into these as your strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. As you identify this, you will have to communicate. You will have to talk to each team and understand what are the issues they are going through. So this cafe has these four issues. Slow order processing. They have a complex interface. Misaligned terminologies need to drive customer loyalty. Every issue mentioned here was from different, different teams. So slow order processing. The finance team has raised an, uh, an, an issue stating it was a slow order processing. My barrister said the, the interface is very complex. I'm not able to bill anything. Misaligned terminology goes with the bartenders who try to go ahead, choose an application, choose a product for a customer. They have to search in order to get the product on the software. And also 
how are you going to gain the loyalty of the customer? So if you see, I have listed four things. But then again, slow order processing has an underlying fact of complex interface and misaligned terminology. So these two things were the reasons for, for slow order processing. So it is necessary, we need to uh, understand the relationship between two problems. Only when we understand the relationship between two problems, it will be easy for us to derive at the solution. So if you see on the menu card, it is listed as latte, wherein on my CRM, it is listed as beverage code A. Similarly, on my menu card, it is blue, blueberry, I'm sorry, blueberry muffin, wherein on my CRM, it's food item one. So this is yet a very tiny example of how uh, the customer facing team and your internal CRM software is not in line. So very simple, but then again, this is what exactly happens uh, for business use cases. So in order to rectify it, so this is yet another example, the varying cost for each and every product wherein it is necessary to be transparent and in line. So in order to rectify it, you need to map and set up the application. How do I do it? It's a four step process. The first thing is you need to categorize your need. As we did earlier, customer related data, finance related data and the other two categories. Similarly, you can have your own category, categorize them. Then, if in case if you have already been using the application, you have to analyze whether the application is doing what it has to do. If in case if not, let's try to compare options, compare the viable options. So as I already said, um, is it good if I use the web forms in Zoho CRM or should I switch to Zoho forms? So similarly, there are a lot of other features which is underlying in each application. So you need to understand, you need to compare between features and post comparison, you will be able to derive at a solution which is the best match. After which, just because of comparing and coming up with it, with the solution, it may not be the best fit. So we have to trial run with a small team of people after which you have to expose it to the entire group. After exposing it, even till now, the implementation is not complete because we need to understand whether the implemented process is good or is it very difficult for the team to handle. So we need to gather feedback after which plan for implementation. So you need to develop an implementation roadmap within the software. As earlier, we had a session earlier with the customers. So rather than touch basing the CRM directly, use Sandbox. So Sandbox is something which comes up with Zoho CRM. If you would like to modify something within a CRM, within an active system, rather than touching it, I would ask you to use Sandbox and then push it from Sandbox to Zoho CRM and then prepare your team. Let the team know that something is going, some change is gonna happen and they need to be much more prepared for it. And we need to monitor every step, every step during the process uh, of implementation and execution. After which, review them regularly. So as I said, just because a workflow is in place, it might not be a solution for an issue which for which we have created a workflow. So we need to regularly review it, followed by updating it, depending upon the feedback we have received. So this is, this is a tiny four-step process with which it will be easy for you to map what you need, that is map your objectives with the features inside Zoho apps, post which, Training and selling internally, that is one of the tedious thing I have ever faced because although we implement things, although we make the process good for the team, the team, there will be a lot of things where the team may not understand the purpose behind it. So it is necessary, everyone inside your team needs to be in line. And in order to do it, you can create competitions and you can buy in people like to let them know what are the benefits they get out of the process. and Key performance indicators, which is nothing but KPIs, helps the team members inside your team to be in line. If in case, if you have these things configured, uh, this is yet another example. You can have sales targets, very specific sales. Rather than just saying, make more sales, you could be much more precise. I need 10% sales for this month. And looking onto the customer satisfaction metrics, every now and then. What are the uh, feedbacks a customer has given? And also, how are the levels of inventories inside your uh, system looks? So these things 
can be defined as a KPI. So this is customizable depending upon your need. This is just an example with the help of CAFE and building a strong team. So Zoho has something called community. Okay, so there are certain situations where a customer feels like they are in front of a big wall. They don't know where to start, where to end, where am I? So at that time, you could touch base community. So there are a lot of the customers with you. There are customers who are in the same phase as you are in. They would have started CRM. Okay, they would have started with workflow. Now they have heard better about Blueprint. They think Blueprint is the best choice for them, but then again, they don't know how to start. So for that, we do have community. Google and Zoho community, type in Zoho CRM workflow. You will be able to see a lot of views of customers, how they have transformed from having workflow to Blueprint or having Blueprint to command center. So their story will be like an input on where to start. And also, as I said, we do have training materials and there are, in, even inside CRM, there is a lot of ways to have a gamification or uh, you could provide incentives for a particular colleague. So these are the things which is covered under key performance indicators and ranking people depending upon the achievements they make. This is yet another important factor where you could buy in, buy in your entire team to be in line. And I hope you know this person. Yes, okay. So we, in Zoho, we try to be, uh, we stick with this four squares. So what is important? What is urgent? What is not important? Which one I have to react? So as in, in my team, we stick with this. So this is something which I wanted to show to you as well. And there are certain things which you have to avoid during implementation. Do not kickstart, do not turn anything on until you're sure about the impact it's going to create. If in case, if you're going to integrate or disable an integration, be sure what are the impacts which is going to be created just because of disintegrating or disabling an option. Even in user deactivation, there are a few things which you need to take care before deactivating a user. So before deactivating or before activating certain things, just be sure we are we know that what are the impacts which has been created during these processes. And just to wrap up, we have seen the ingredients of Zoho One or the what Zoho One is, followed by assessments, to-do lists, creating plans and processes, followed by how to use Zoho One efficiently and what to avoid while implementing. Thank you.